Hey guys, this is Blake. This is my first tutorial, and I thought I would create this tutorial because I didn't really find any information on how to do this. I kind of had to do it myself. There might be information on it, but I couldn't really find it. So, basically, on Google, if you go to Google, Google Plus, whenever you're editing your photo for for YouTube, or you go right here to your photo, you click the edit button and it sends you to Google Plus. <coughs> and it brings up the upload screen. And you can just drag your photo in that you want. Whenever I did this, I thought, well, hey, I got this cool photo. Let's put it in there. Let's make it as my YouTube profile picture. But I ran into a little problem. And I'm pretty sure if anybody's ever tried this, they ran into the same problem. And they spent hours and hours trying to fix this. This little crop tool, it's not the best crop tool, it's, it's just a square. And you can, you can only move it around, you can make it as big as the photo, the, the height, but you can't make it the whole width. It, it, can, it can only be a square. And, you know, I just created this cool photo and half of it would be cropped out, like the claws and everything, it would be cropped out. And I, I don't want that, and you couldn't even see the whole edits part. So, what I did was, I took my photo... And by the way, uh, to create this photo, I use Cinema 4D and Photoshop. <clears throat> and uh, my friend, he does tutorials on how to how to do this. And these little effects, like this little, I don't know what it's called, and these little bubble things and the claws and just all this right here, all these effects are in this this pack. It's a GFX pack, which is right here. Here it is, right here. And it comes with the things where you can actually make banners and for your for your YouTube and right here's the little pack and it comes I don't want to open it up I don't want to open it up but you can go to his YouTube I'll put a link in the description for you and you can watch his tutorial on how to do it and you can make cool stuff like this this right here's the one that I made another one for my um, for my banner I didn't know how to do the effects until after I watched this tutorial but I did the letters with Cinema 4D and I sent it to him, and he made the you know the background and made it look all cool and whatnot. Um, just go watch his tutorial. I'll put the link in the description, and you can learn how to do it. And you can get this little pack right here to learn how to do yours or make it however you want. So, anyways, you take your photo and the original photo <coughs> that you want to put as your profile picture, and you open with Paint. And if you're on Mac, I don't know, but this is for Windows. Uh, you got your whole photo here, the 1920 by 1080. You want to go right here to this little select box, and you want to hit the drop-down box, not not this. You can do it like that, but you'll spend 10 minutes trying to get the whole photo. Just click this drop-down box, click select all, and then it'll select all the photo. As you can see, there's like a, I don't know if you can see it, but... It's like a little line. And you want to go to resize. And what I did was went to pixels. And you want to take off this maintain aspect ratio. Or else it will just try to keep the photo a rectangle. Just click that and it will uncheck it. And I just took this one and made it 1080. 1080 by 1080 which is a square. And click OK. And then you'll see that it made it a square and then you got this white box over here that that's fine don't worry about it you're not messing up the photo or anything like that you got the whole, whole photo here in a square and then you want to go to file save as uh, save as whatever you want to save it as save it to where you want to save it at and I've already saved it so I'm just gonna exit out I'm not gonna save mine's right here as you can see I'll open it up to show you <coughs> that one's mine so, you want to go back to Google, and you want to go back to the upload, and you just want to drag or select your photo, and drop it in, or open it. <coughs> and then when you open it up, you'll see that you got the square. You just want to move over the crop tool, and you want to drag down the crop tool, and then look at that. You get the whole picture the whole picture 
So you just set it and wait for it to load up. And when you come to this screen, you can add comments or whatever. I don't use Google Plus, but you can do whatever you want to do. I just push cancel. It'll still save the photo if you don't share it or nothing like that. And as you can see, there's the photo. And since Google Plus has, I don't know, this little circle here, your photo will look circle, but it's not really circle. Just exit out of that, and you can go back to your YouTube. And as you can see, there's your photo. And the whole photo is there. Not cropped out, nothing unordinary about it. It's the whole photo. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and whenever I figure out how to use Photoshop a little more, I'll start doing tutorials on that, and I will definitely be doing tutorials on After Effects, because that's what I do, After Effects. Uh, I do quick scope montages and everything. If you look on my channel, you'll see some of my videos that I've done, but just check out my friends, YouTube, and sub to me for more tutorials and quick scope and montages. Thank you for watching.